Yo, what it do, Ghost Nation? It's your boy, Ghost Rider. Welcome back to another episode of Ghost Movies. Now, on this episode, I want to talk about God of War Ragnarok. They dropped an official trailer called Official Myth of Midgard. And I can't wait. I'm not going to talk too much. Let's just jump right into this trailer. And here we go. PlayStation has never filled me down with their solo exclusive games. And this game is definitely up there, bro. It's quite the storm we're having. Seems Fimblewinter's here to stay. It will pass, though. So She's gonna tell to the do. story of God of um, In the meantime, how about a story? Midgard. By the fire. Um, filthy spies. That old man sees more now than he did. I'm glad we're getting a six-minute trailer, bro. Uh, That's crazy. One of my That's friends. what's up. It's a story of adventure. A father and son working together to overcome insurmountable odds. I'm ready for this Setting game, emotion, bro. The greatest war the nine realms have ever seen. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. I'm looking forward there to this game more than I was the first God of War. Settled in Midgard. That came out in 2018, 2017, one of them drones. He started a new life, had a wife and a boy. They were happy together. In peace. They found joy. There was Kratos. His wife passed away. Kratos mourned with his son. But where one journey and ended, his son a new had begun. Faye's final request, though it's Let's see what this story is about. I want to know more about this tale right here. Realm's tallest peak. As they readied themselves for the long road ahead, a stranger accosted them in their homestead. Baldur sought answers as Odin's hand. Kratos gave none to the Aesir firebrand. They made way for the mountains. Kratos taught the boy skills, keeping godhood a secret but training. I love how you always said boy. Gods were always in danger, this Kratos knew. But he never called him by his name. He'd learn. Could harm the boy too. They found Mimir in a tree. Punishment for his wrongs. So they lopped off his head. And they brought him along. Mimir held ancient wisdom and knew the lost god of war. He warned, tell the boy. Oh yeah, Kratos carried him, ha carried his head on his waist. No, no. Now hold on a minute. Is that all that's in there about me? Something to add? Actually, yes, I do. You see, Odin, in all of his dreadfully paranoid wisdom, trapped me in that bloody tree for perceived wrongs. And I led quite the colorful life before even meeting him. It all started when I was just a lad in the service of a great fairy king. Riveting stuff, really. We'll have to get back to that later. No, don't turn the page. I wasn't finished. Oh, she turned the page. We're telling the story. We'd be here all day. Anyways. Next. Met Freya, masquerading as a witch in the woods. A god knows a god. She would aid where she could. She Man, she helped us, and then I heard she's gonna be. She's gonna turn on us in Ragnarok. Kratos dismissed her. He'd regret this in time. On the road, Baldur's allies, Thor's sons, attacked. Something snapped in Atreus as he tried to fight back. The Aesir lost the battle, but Atreus fell too. Kratos rushed him to Freya. She would know what to do. Freya was disheartened with the father's neglect, but with the heart of Hell's troll, she could save his son yet. Kratos thundered through Helheim and slew the great troll. He had captured its heart, but in his, burned a hole. He returned with his offering. Freya cast a keen spell, and Atreus was healed, though not all was well. Kratos sat with his son, and for once he was true, revealing he was a god, and Atreus was too. Delighted at hmm. first, it seemed all would go smoothly. Then arrogance followed and bent Atreus toward cruelty. With tensions flared, Balder preyed on their discord, casting back into Helheim Kratos and his ward. In Helheim, they learned Freya caused Balder's plight. His mother's ill conceived curse robbed his life of all light. They emerged from the realm as they neared Journey's end, but Balder appeared and attacked once again. Atreus and Kratos were ready this time, stronger together with their power combined. Freya intervened on behalf of her son, begging Baldur's forgiveness for all that she'd done. Baldur strangled his mother. 
Kratos lunged with a snap. Baldur slumped. Freya wailed. And he died in her lap. Something That's his mother. Out. Snow started to fall. The dawn of Fimble Winter. The dusk of it all. Atreus asked, Is this what it means to be gods? Killing our parents forever at odds? No! Kratos bellowed as he dropped to one knee. We will be the gods that we choose to be. That's right. Finally, together, they reached the great peak, finding Jotunheim's temple, the giant's retreat. A prophetic mural showed the life they had led. The boy's mother was giant, they learned as they read. Atreus walked to the cliffside. Kratos eyed the wall slowly. Beneath the boy's picture, a name was etched. Loki. They scattered her ashes and watched as they lifted over rolling red hills. The wind danced and it drifted. Standing side by side, feeling hopeful and new, the boy was at peace. And the father was too. With their promise fulfilled, they returned to their home. They trained day after day, lest they'd reap what they'd sown. Atreus grew restless, wary. Kratos remained. Ragnarok loomed as the great winter waned. Don't tell me you're thinking of stopping here. Things were just getting good. Well, I suppose we could go on a bit longer. An excellent idea. This is the most dramatic part. On second thought, perhaps we'd better cut it short. It seems that we are out of time. If you want to know how this story ends, I'm afraid you'll have to find out for yourself. I will be playing God of War Ragnarok. Until then. I can't wait. November 9th, baby. Let's get it. I am on board. All right, Ghost Nation. We just got a little story, a little story time about Kratos. And Atreus, and now we're gonna go into Ragnarok. And I'm telling you, that woman that Kratos kills his son, the son of that woman, she's gonna actually come after us hard. And I wanna fight Odin in this game. <clears throat> I wanna fight Odin in this game. I wanna see what it's gonna be about. I want Odin to go. Not Odin. Not just Odin. I want to I wanna fight Thor in this game. I want us to fight Thor. They teased it at the end of the, the original God of War. They teased, you could see um, Thor's hammer and stuff on his hip as he approaches uh, Kratos. But now I want to see, I want us to fight freaking Thor or Odin or whoever in this game. Let's get it going. All right, Ghost Nation, I'm about to get up out of here. I just wanted to give y'all this video because they just dropped it like maybe 45 minutes ago and i'm looking forward to this game i'm very excited for november there's a lot of good shit coming out we got madden coming out which i'm probably not gonna play we'll see it's it's an anniversary game for john madden who passed away it's it's one of those uh games that's gonna show the respect and love to him he's on the cover of the game so i might actually cop that then nba 2k23 is dropping then we're going to get God of War in November. And I'm looking forward to those games. Those are my top three games so far. We'll see what's good. All right, Ghost Nation, I'm about to get up out of here. Y'all already know what to do. Like and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that post notification bell for your boy. And until next time, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Ghost Rider out.